This line of stuff is almost ruined this career. Let's There's a certain beauty and a curse that comes with live streaming. If you make a mistake, uh -oh. there's no undo button. You can't just cut it out. If it's there on a live stream, it's there forever. Whatever, and we've okay. seen time and time again that one simple single blunder, one little split second mistake can cost people their entire online career, whether that's from something they say or something they do. In fact, we actually just saw this very phenomenon happen a month ago where a big streamer named Atrioc was live and alt-tabbed, which okay. for yeah, a little just, uh... fucking nanosecond flashed his deep fake porn on stream, and that cost him everything. Years upon years of work undone in an instant because he jump-scared everyone yeah. with his deep fake porn, which revealed a lot of awful things about the whole situation and everything that was going on there. Point is, on live yeah, streams... Can... There's no going back, and we've seen time and time again this lead to the downfall of an entire career. And we almost saw it again last night with Linus Tech Tips. Almost. Linus has built an mean? empire online. He is an incredible creator who has done amazing work for so long now. Yeah. And last night he almost wiped his ass with the entire fucking thing. I mean, it's been it's been kind of uh, it's been kind of eye opening. I I've I've just sort of randomly here and there picked up episodes of you know old shows that i hadn't watched in a long time from like the early 2000s and just uh, the, casual, this whole? Um, the, the casual sort of gay humor we've entered the danger zone here on stream this is like chernobyl just waiting to melt down because of something he's about to say but to paint the picture what he's talking about here is how not that long ago Things were more acceptable in content and media that aren't acceptable today. He's talking about how things have changed, and in particular, he's mentioning how, like, some shows would have casual gay humor, where back in the earlier 2000s, that mm -hmm. was a very common a bit thing. Open, uh... Calling something gay was used pretty much everywhere for everything. If someone got a cheeseburger that didn't have enough cheese on it, they'd mm -hmm. say, that's gay. If you were walking down the stairs and you missed a step and you started to tumble down the stairs, you'd be screaming, this is gay, like all the way down. If a buddy of yours asked to bring his girlfriend along to like the boys night out, you'd say, stop being gay, that kind of shit. That's what he's talking about. And he's saying, you know, it hasn't been that long and going back and watching shows that still have that humor in it was jarring to him. Casual use of the hard R. Um, oh, really? It's jarring. Yeah, it's it's jarring now. And um, for, casual use of hello? hard R. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like, uh, like okay, uh, it was an episode of American Dad. Mm, topic, and and it was just like, yeah, it wasn't for shock value. It was just, just like used. Fuckle your seatbelt because this ride's getting real bumpy now. the The train is getting off the tracks. Uh, we're, we're going wacko mode here. So hard R, as I'm sure all of you probably understand, is a very serious uh -oh. slur. Like that's, you know, that's not, you know, empty calories. That's, that's no sack of potatoes. That's, that's a, that's a big fucking slur. What? And he's saying that it was used casually back in the early 2000s and even mentions a example with American Dad. Now, with my hand on a stack of Bibles, I'll just tell you, I'm not the biggest American Dad fan. I, like, I'll just be honest with you. I, I've, I haven't watched a ton of it. I'm not the biggest spectator of the show. So maybe... This ep maybe this episode he's talking about flew under the radar. I never heard of it, never watched it, but that took me by surprise. And I really love Luke's reaction, his co-host here, okay. because you can see him like, hard R, excuse me, what, <laughs> what, what kind of fantasy land are you okay. living in, Linus, where hard R's were casual? Because I and Luke and probably everyone else in the world can't really recall a time where normal TV shows were dropping racist slurs casually like that. Whoa. Right, well... I mean, here's the thing, right? Right. that was in the 2003 or something like yeah. 2002 yeah like i'm not gonna i'm not gonna deny that i dropped my fair share of hard r's back then because we didn't even the, the term hard r didn't even exist okay <laughs> we didn't think about well, it and shit, right um, and it's funny because too. to me that doesn't feel like that long ago as a big fan of linus when i heard that i had to stand up from my chair hands okay. on my hip i was like all right it's over. <laughs> I felt like a coach who had just watched his team lose the championship ball game. Like, you take my hat off, you know, 
put it over my chest and say a prayer for him because I was like, God rest his soul, this is the end of Linus. And you can see Luke, Luke like, he shakes his head like in disbelief and then he's just looking down. And I already know during this moment where Linus is like admitting to using hard R's casually, he's processing this as like, yep, back to the old grind. This is this is where it all ends, huh? This is the This is the end of our run. He was just seeing all the walls around him starting to crumble, the okay. Empire burning to a crisp, all because Linus is just freely loosey-goosey admitting to using the hard R casually often. But do not I despair guess, because, guess because not all there, is as so. it seems here. But to my kids, back in, I guess. Are you talking like N-word hard R? What? No. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's how people use that term. No. I think that's so. That's the N-word. What are you guys talking about? Am I mistaken? I think so. No, the the one the one with the uh with, like for like mental disability. Uh -oh. I'm him. pretty sure people use hard R in a very different way than you just used it. Oh. Okay, either hard way. Hard R means ending. I understand. The I understand. With a hard R. I understand what you mean. No, I'm not talking about that. You can feel life be breathed okay. back into the room. <laughs> like once really? Linus elaborates that. He wasn't talking about the N-word, he was talking about the word used with mental disabilities. And collectively, okay. all at once, the whole room comes back to life. This reminds uh, me of a very famous it. quote from the late, great Uncle Ben, God rest his soul, when he, he sat down with e. Parker in that car and he said, with great power comes great responsibility. E. In this case, it's with great power comes great fucking blunders. This was an amazing disaster to watch unfold with like, the wackiest plot twist of an ending. I have never once heard the hard R refer to anything other than the racist slur. So when he just started willy-nilly admitting to using it casually, I couldn't believe my goddamn ears, and I know every co-worker was panicked texting each other, saying like, hey, really enjoyed our time together, it's fucking over, tune into the stream. Like, I have no doubt that was probably the scariest moment of their careers, listening to Linus just for some reason admit to using the hard R often. And then, of course, the, the grand reveal where he wasn't actually talking about racist shit he was referring to something entire something different entirely and then uh, this is the mm -hmm. aftermath of that okay cool so i'm glad that i'm we freaking have neo that over here dude we're dodging bullets that yeah. was bad <laughs> okay yes <laughs> all right right i forgot about the part where i said yeah i just like used a cat yeah no uh actually <laughs> <sighs> We breathe. Everything's okay. Cool. So right. I hope um, everyone likes not having a job anymore on Monday, because apparently I'm a giant racist. We, did, we didn't lose our money in the in the bank crash. The yeah, bank no. Run, <laughs> in the audience run. What a journey we went on for about two minutes there with this whole section. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to talk about this because this was the closest I've seen to someone just committing career suicide with a smile on their face during it. Uh, big misunderstanding here, I suppose. And, uh, yeah, I just wanted to talk about it a little bit. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's really about it. I was a bit of a depressed lad. I was a bit of 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 a bit